The bilats you go into now across the Atlantic Ocean with select American officials, is the tension normal back to your prime ministership with Latvia in the heart of the GFC? Or is there something new this time about transatlantic bilat tension? Uh, uh, good morning. Well, first of all, I would uh, highlight that uh, there is a very strong transatlantic uh, cooperation. We are strategic allies, and especially in uh, times like this, where we are confronted by uh, Russia's aggression uh, against Ukraine, mm -hmm. by war on European soil, uh, we uh, uh, need to work uh, together with the US and with the entire uh, democratic uh, world. So, and uh, I would say that this uh, cooperation, both in terms of uh, uh, supporting Ukraine, putting sanctions against uh, Russia, is, uh, uh, is right. uh, uh, very strong and uh, very good. Uh, on the um, uh, 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 trade side, obviously, uh, we are uh, also having very extensive agenda. This was uh, subject of, of some of my meetings also uh, uh, yesterday. And there we are still working, for example, on some of the discriminatory aspects of the U.S. Inflation Reduction Act. But once again, we are constructively engaged with uh, U.S. Uh, authorities and hope uh, to the extent possible uh, solve those issues. From Latvia up to Estonia, over to a Finland, and your world and all of our worlds have changed here with Finland joining NATO. To me, it was just a lifetime shock to see that. How do the political dialogues you're in every day change, given the shock of this war in the sh of Finland simply joining, moving from its independence and joining Europe? Uh, well, uh, uh, I think uh, as regards Finland, it obviously was a logical uh, choice. If you live next to the uh, aggressive uh, empire, uh, you need to seek uh, stronger protection. And that's what Finland uh, did uh, with uh, joining NATO. And hopefully uh, Sweden will be able to join uh, soon as well. And it definitely strengthens the security in entire uh, Baltic Sea region. Commissioner, you're always diplomatic. I would suggest that you've had to spend the week putting out fires. Fires started from by someone else. I would like to understand how the Europeans would respond if the US administration turned around and said that they don't want to get caught up in crises that aren't ours. What would you say back to that? Uh, well, as I was uh, saying at the beginning of the uh, interview, uh, uh, when we are uh, uh, confronted with major challenges, we are better off if we work together as EU-US, that we strengthen our strand, uh, transatlantic alliance. Have you told the French president that? Uh, well, uh, 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 clearly the position of the EU is uh, very clear on this. As I said, uh, we, uh, uh, EU and US, are uh, strategic allies, and we, uh, especially in current confrontational geopolitical situation, uh, we uh, need to work together. I get the feeling, and this is my assessment, and you can correct me by all means, that you're all underplaying the tension between the European Union and the US right now publicly. Whenever I speak to someone from the US administration or the European Union, I get the same story. We all need to work together. What I actually see as an observer is a race for subsidies in the United States, the European Union racing to get its act together to do the same thing. It's a real tension starting to emerge. How are you going to resolve that? How do you actually truly work together when the US is spending a lot of time saying, let's build in America, make America, and then buy America? How are you going to resolve that? Uh, well, on uh, this, and if we are to discuss specifically US Inflation Reduction Act, EU has been uh, very uh, clear since the very beginning. So we definitely welcome the uh, climate ambition of the Inflation Reduction Act, and the US is uh, also uh, uh, working uh, on uh, these goals, but at the same time we have serious concerns about discriminatory aspects in Inflation Reduction Act. We have set up the de dedicated EU-US task force to work on those issues, and indeed we are raising uh, uh, with uh, these issues uh, also bilaterally with uh, US uh, administration and uh, trying to solve them. The previous administration was heavily criticised for its approach to trade. Everybody would come on TV publicly. They had no problem saying it and criticising the Trump administration. Is there any difference, any daylight whatsoever, between this administration and the last one on trade? Can you well, identify one specific piece of daylight difference between what this administration is doing and what the last one did? Well, uh, first of all, uh, with this administration, we were able to uh, park several long-standing disputes, like Airbus-Boeing dispute, like... Uh, uh, dispute related uh, to steel and aluminium uh, tariffs. Right now we are working on the global steel and aluminium What's the uh, status of that, Commissioner? 
Well, uh, just yesterday uh, I was discussing this with U.S. Trade Representative, uh, Ambassador Tai, and uh, uh, we, uh, there is a very intensive, very uh, constructive engagement, and we are working with a deadline of October this year in mind. We talk a lot about the relationship between the U.S. and Europe, both when it comes to trade, but also when it comes to military. We've been talking about these leaks that are very sensitive from the national security uh, of the United States. Does that change your relationship at all with sharing information or doing business with the U.S.? Well, uh, once again, I must uh, emphasize that uh, uh, in a, a situation where we uh, see uh, 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 aggressive policy of Russia, I would say increased ambitions of authoritarian regimes, it's important that the democratic world works uh, uh, together. So, yes, there are problems, there are difficulties, but uh, we need to be able to uh, to uh, uh, discuss, uh, uh, overcome them, and find joint uh, solutions as a response uh, to current geopolitical situation.